Stay right there, stay with us, and thank you for being with us tonight. Thanks, everyone. Well, I'm glad that you're watching. This is going to be a fun hour of Coin Collector. But first, I want to tell you that April is Customer Appreciation Month here on HSN. And all month long, HSN Cares is giving away $1,000 every day to charities nominated by our customers. Today's charity was chosen by Jennifer L. Odom, who nominated Big Dog Ranch Rescue, the largest no-kill dog rescue in the southeastern United States. Jennifer told us they have created and are still creating a massive facility that allows animals to run, play, swim, and interact with each other on a daily basis in their open areas. Big Dog Ranch Rescue rescues dogs from overcrowded, no-kill shelters, unwanted litters, strays, and from owners who can no longer care for them. They started a decade ago and have rescued over 19,000 dogs and puppies. Thanks to Jennifer, Big Dog Ranch Rescue will be receiving today's $1,000 from HSN Cares. Search HSN Cares on hsn.com to learn about all of the charities that have been selected this month. Well, you're watching HSN and Coin Collector. I'm Tamara Hooks, and Mike Mizak is joining us for this hour. And... Um, Mike, we've got some returning favorites. We've got some things we haven't seen in a long time. And, and, and this is something that you are going to have a chance to pick up. This is just a quick little tease because it's coming up later on in the hour. And these are the Secret Silver Kennedys. You're getting 13 coins in this half dollar roll. They're from the years 1965 to 1969. And the reason they sound like that is because they're silver. That's right. It's the yeah. sound of money. The sound of money. The sound of money. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's good. <laughs> they sound different. Mm -hmm. We'll explain that whole thing. Absolutely. That's just a little tease, though. But if you've already maybe seen the presentation, or if you want to go ahead and shop online for those, you can do that. 609905 is the number to get those home. But Mike and I are going to jump in and get it started with something that is, um, well, well over 100 years in the making, yeah. uh, or made. These are the 1881, and these are the Mint State 64 from the San Francisco Mint, the Red Cross Clara Barton Morgan Silver Dollar. Clara Barton Morgan, we might not know her name, but we know the organization that she founded in the American Red Cross. 1881, mm -hmm. Clara Barton founds the American Red Cross. So we worked with the American Red Cross and the Claire Barton Foundation and certified in these special holders original 1881 Morgan, so contemporaneous coins. Now, that's pretty cool and important and all, and we've got a couple hundred of these that we were able to do with the special red, uh, you know, the red insert with the red core. But it's not just that we certified 1881 Morgan silver dollars. Look at the grade. Min State 64. Mm -hmm. So what that Min State 64 is, is <clears throat> in coins we get on a 70 point scale, 70 being perfect. There are no Min State 70 Morgan silver dollars. Okay. Zero. Uh, because they've always have, you know, some of what we call bag marks or contact marks in there. Min State 69s in NGC, I think there's 13 coins. Wow. They sell for $100,000 or so, oh my okay? Goodness. So you, you, as you go down that scale, mm -hmm. but remember, uncirculated starts at Min State 60. Min State 63 is brilliant uncirculated. Min State 64 is choice brilliant uncirculated. So what we've got here, and look at the reverse of this coin. It looks like it's absolutely positively brand new. It's an original 1881 Morgan Silver Dollar. So we've done this to, in essence, honor the American Red Cross in the founding year by the founder, contemporaneous mm -hmm. to its birth. And, and, and that if this was not an uncirculated dollar, Clara Barton could have technically used this coin. But, but with it being uncirculated, that's not likely the case, right. uh, is what the case is. Because this, was put, this coin was put in storage for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, Ms. A64 coins are exceptionally, exceptionally and exceedingly rare uh, because they represent only about 1% or so of all the Morgan silver dollars uh, uh, that were made. Uh, actually, a little bit uh, less than that because the vast majority of them were either melted down by the government. The government melted down almost 80% of all the Morgan silver dollars they ever made. 
And then the fact that it survived to this day in original gem brilliant on circuit. And understand this is exclusive to us here at HSN. You cannot get the, uh, uh, the red core Clara Barton Red Cross uh, 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 coin anywhere but here at HSN. And understand, Min State 64 Morgan Silver Dollar is, you know, $199.95 is a pretty good price for that as well. But then you add in. The fact that with this special holder, like I said, with the Clara Barton Foundation and with the American Red Cross, that is a pretty, pretty uh, cool thing, is mm -hmm. what we've got right there that is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. And you have an opportunity to order this one, and we, mm -hmm. this was just a very quick presentation. We wanted to start off with this, something extra special, and the fact that you have a chance to get this as... Only a couple hundred of these are now still available. This is your opportunity. We do have it on four flex, so just under $50. And remember, this is the Mint State 64 from 1881. Here's the item number. It's 613-560. You can go ahead and write that down. And if you want to shop with us online, that's actually going to be your fastest way yes. to get in and get this. Now, <clears throat> we have a, a secondary item here. Mm -hmm. When we bought these, we had to get some amazing coins, and we had these certified. Check this out. Right there. Mint State 66. Six. Now, oh my look gosh. at this coin. Look at this coin. It is yeah. just absolutely, positively, and, and I'm going to do this, sorry. i got to put the 64 next to it. Okay. Let me say, what are the differences? Mm -hmm. Here's the difference. Look at her cheek. See how this cheek right here stands out, it's yeah. what we call a puffy cheek. That's the difference between Mint State 66. Okay. It's been fully struck. Mm -hmm. And that's why this coin looks so much different than this coin, then there's less bag marks and all. This coin is fantastically, amazingly, and ridiculously rare in Mint State 66. Mm -hmm. I think the sum total of the entire universe of, of this coin in Mint State 66 is no more than about 500 coins or so, but then put it into this right here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, in the red core, now we're looking at a universe that's going to be in the neighborhood of 100 coins in existence available exclusively from us here at HSN. We rarely offer Mint State 66 coins. We have offered in the past Mint State 67 coins, but I think they're $1,500. Oh my goodness. And they're not the special Red Cross Clara Barton edition uh, oh. uh, either NGC, but there they were NGC, but I think they're $1,500, $1,700. $1,800 wow. for just one grade higher. I have got this in the special and exclusive holder in Min State 66. That, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, as yeah. We were just asked, what's the significance? The, the American Red Cross was founded in 1881. In 1881. Clara That's Barton right. started the American Red Cross in 1881. That's why we chose this year. Yeah. And it's the only year that we're going to do in this. So there's not like a series or anything. Yeah. This is the founding year of the American Red Cross. And we are going to, and we certified contemporaneous coins. So this coin was literally made the same year as the American Red Cross. And what we're doing is honoring that. So we have the Mint State 64. We have the Mint State 66, phenomenally rare just as a regular coin. But in this holder, uh, absolutely dumbfoundingly rare. Absolutely. And, and as you can see, now we had a, a few more of the Mint State 64s. We are very limited on what we have with Mint State 66. Yeah. And that's why it's just just an abbreviated, uh, abbreviated presentation. But remember, it comes in your presentation box that you see right there. Um, and so whether it's the Mint State 64 or the Mint State 66, this is the kind of opportunity that we're happy to bring to you, but we don't have a lot of them and we're just telling you right up front. So you can go ahead and start shopping with us. You can always call us anytime, but the fastest way for you to jump in and get yours and get ahead of the line is to go to hsn.com and order. Oh, this is a beautiful set. I don't... Have I seen this no, set? No, you have not seen this set. This is gorgeous. This is something extraordinarily difficult to put together. Wow. We, uh, 1986, the United States uh, government, President Ronald Reagan, signs into law, okay, in the Liberty Coin Act, the American Silver Eagle, which has become the most collected silver coin on the face of the planet. Wow. You're getting all of them. You get all of them. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's the deal. These are the first seven years 
of the American Silver Goat, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. They are significant for several reasons. First of all, they're not just any American Silver Eagles. These are the proof Silver Eagles. Yeah. So these are the ones, tell me if you could put your hand back. We have to be uh, careful that. Yeah, right there. These are the proof Silver Eagles, so they have got the mint mark. They're in the back, the West Point mint. Or I'm sorry, I said West Point mint. I didn't mean that. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous it now, is. Now look at the mint mark. I always I said West Point mint because that's yeah. where they've been made for the last quarter century. Yeah. For the first seven years, they were made at the San Francisco mint. Mm -hmm. So that's why the significance is so that it has a San Francisco mint mark on it. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of these is an ounce of pure silver. This is the original wow. government packaging. Wow. That this is how the government did it right here. This isn't my special thing. This is the way the government used to do them. Now they just put them in little Right. Cardboard, cardboard boxes. Back then they used to do, do it away. Yeah. That's the box. That's the original certificate of authenticity oh from goodness. 1986. So this is almost 40 years old now. That's the United States Mint original certificate of authenticity. Now the amazing part about this, you get every single one of the coins in this collection. Let's put that into perspective. That's less than $100 a coin. Wow. These are the original first seven. Mm -hmm. San Francisco, and the only regular issue San Francisco minted proof silver eagles ever made by the United States government. So 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. And when you look at rarity, you are really starting to look at rare. These mm -hmm. coins right here are twice as rare as the coins today. Plus, they have survived the over quarter of a century mm -hmm. that's in these in absolutely original government packaging 100%. It is just a truly and ultimately uh, a spectacular set. And as you said, mm. Have I seen these before? Because yeah. you and I have been doing shows for a long time, and the yeah. answer is no. Right, right. Uh, because they're very difficult to get, particularly, interestingly enough, not the 86. The 86 is technically the easiest coin to get the first year of issue, because hmm. it came out to great fanfare, and so people bought that and put it aside. Okay. By 87, it lost a little luster, so to speak. So to speak. Uh, uh, and so they made a, a, a lot less. By 88, people are going, okay, well, you know, we've, we've seen the silver. So these are the hard coins, the last five in this series. Okay. Very, very difficult. Now, from a pr price standpoint, this probably sells for the most because it's the first year of issue and always draws people to it. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. See, these are the presentation coins. Mm -hmm. So these coins on average are going to be, if you look at the regular mint state coins, which we sell for almost the same price, mm -hmm. these are on average about 10 times rarer. These are on average about 10 times rarer. So when you look at that original 1986, once again, I'm gonna pull that out. And, and let me show you how you do this, okay? okay. So you have the uh, uh, you have that kind of pewter seal, and it's mm -hmm. just kind of velvet. It's yeah. kind of neat. It's a really so you nice open box. it up, and there's a little tab right here. Mm -hmm. and you just pull that. Wow! And the coin just pops right out. Now, proof, remember, is a method of manufacturing. They strike the coin multiple times at higher pressures to give you that mirror finish that you see right there. That's not on a regular coin. They then, in essence, because it's a presentation coin sign it with a San Francisco mint mark, like an artist's uh, proof or something like that. Now you have to understand in 1986 through 1982, they only made this and the mint state coin. That was it. Okay. There was no reverse proofs. There was no special finish. Mm -hmm. There was no special sets. There was none of that. If for the year they made this coin yeah. and they made the, the mint state coin and that was that. Okay, and that was all that they did. Here is the United States Mint Seal that you're going to have right here. So you can see now, here's the interesting part. See it has that little indentation? Yes. That's because this box has been closed for 25 plus years. Wow. Okay, actually about 31 <laughs> years this box has been closed. And in doing that, if you'll see, the coin's a little bit raised there. Yeah. And so the puff, that's what they call this is a puff, it's a satin puff, yeah. has been sitting on that for 25 years. Oh my gosh. And so that's how you know it's in pristine condition that's and right. remains exactly like like the day it was made in 1986. Wow. Uh, which is truly amazing. So the first seven years, and they were made at the San Francisco Mint. Today, they're all made at the West Point Mint.
mm -hmm. which is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So the West Point Mint does all of the presentation coins. Occasionally they'll do a reverse proof coin at Philadelphia or at San Francisco. Occasionally at mm -hmm. Denver they'll do an enhanced uncirculated or something like that. Because okay. they do different types of presentation coins. But back then there was the regular coin that was basically bullion and then the special coin that is this coin. And that's the only, the only oh, special okay. coin is this coin is the proof coin. And that's the way it was for basically till 1995. And in 1995, they moved, they took the S mint right here. Mm -hmm. And then 1995, they put the first W mint on one of these. Uh, and that coin, that first W mint, yeah. sells for about five to seven thousand dollars. Oh my god. Now goodness. this is the first S mint, okay? Yeah. This is the last S mint. Now it's not thirty thousand dollars, but you know, it's still pretty cool. So wow. uh, uh, you're gonna have that uh, uh, within that. So once again, quantities on this, I've got about okay. six and a half dozen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, of these to go around. About mm -hmm. six and a half dozen of these to go around. We will have these, I'm assuming, in our primetime show tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of this, in terms mm -hmm. of actually getting this coin, I would go right to hsn.com. Mm -hmm. We're exceptionally busy uh, mm -hmm. uh, with the phones right now. Right. And so because of that, what you have is the opportunity to get a coin set that, uh, I, I, when I have this as brand new, obviously the coins were made 35 years ago, to right. you know, 28 to 30, 30, uh, 33 years ago. Yeah. But it's the first time I've been able to put this together in quite some time mm -hmm. in the original government packaging and the other key is the cost. I sell a 2018 certified American Silver Eagle here. We have them, okay? Mm -hmm. I sell uh, the 2018 Proof American Eagle. I think it's on hsn.com for about $179. Mm -hmm. Certified for the 2018. Okay. This is 86 less than $100 a coin. So yeah. not only do we have availability of this coin, which I think is special and exciting and extraordinarily desirable, mm -hmm. but I've got an incredible price mm -hmm. with the desirability of these coins. First okay. seven years, only seven regular S mints. Now they've done some S mint special coins. Okay. So take a look at, I think it's the 2012 S Mint and American Silver Eagle. Certified, that coin's gonna be, oh, I don't know, four, five hundred dollars. So, well, let's call it three to five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay, I don't want to overstate. Okay. Uh, three to five hundred dollars for an S Mint coin that was made six years ago. Okay. Right. Out of a, uh, a, you know, out of a set that they did. Well, these are the original last minute coins, right. and particularly first, first year of issue. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, 1986, uh, President Ronald Reagan signs into law the Liberty Coin Act. Mm -hmm. This is the first coin that's created because of that. Is this 1986? Then we go to 87, and then you start really getting into rarity here. Yeah. Now, as is the case with all these, I think it's important for you to understand original government package is a big deal. This is American Eagle, as you can see, one ounce silver bullion coin, and then you open this up, and there is the United States government, original certificate of authenticity. Check this guy out right here. American Eagle, certificate of authenticity, signed by the treasurer of the United States at the time, which was Donna Pope, uh, uh, that you're gonna have right there. And then on the back, it gives you all of the specifications of the coin. Wow. And all of this is included. So for us to put these together, we have to not only find the coins, Mm -hmm. But understand, this is a cardboard box. Mm -hmm. But it's a cardboard box that's almost 30, well, it's right. over 30 years old. Right. So to find the coin in good condition is hard enough. Mm -hmm. To find the box in good condition, in all honesty, is significantly harder than finding. You can find the coin, you can get the coin certified, you can do all that, but finding pristine, original uh, uh, cardboard boxes that are over a quarter of a century old, that is far more difficult. That is far more difficult right. than, what you would, uh, than what you would think. With everybody on the phone, I have point. very few of these left. I'm anticipating, I think we have a primetime airing uh, this evening, but I don't know 100%. If we do, okay. that will probably be the end of these. Yeah. Like I said, very, very difficult to get, and specifically difficult to get at this price. Think about that. Okay, that's the key. You're getting all of them. The first S-minted coin and the last S-minted coin. You're getting all of them for what basically is about $100 a coin. Um, you've heard about the rarity. You hear about what's so special about this and the fact that it is in that original government issue packaging, which in itself 
I think is beautiful. You know how they say they don't make them like they used to? Right. This really is, is an example of that. Interestingly enough, in coins, that can be a blessing or a curse. <laughs> okay? Uh, they <laughs> don't from sure. a packaging standpoint, mm. but today we can do different, um, uh, like, laser finishing dies and sure. all. And sure. so back then, they don't make them like they used to, so yeah. it's, that's why we only have two different coins, and they don't make them like they used to, so the boxes are better than they are today. Mm -hmm. So you get kind of get the best of both worlds with that. Remember, <laughs> Proof American Silver Eagles, not just American Silver Eagles, but proof American Silver Eagles. Love that. And if if this one is aired, even if it's mentioned this evening in the primetime show, I do believe that this one will go because we only have a few dozen of those. Now, this one is coming up. It's going to be one of the last coins that we feature for you, but it is your brilliant uncirculated. It's a 2018 three-coin 30th anniversary um, set the five dollar Canada silver maple leaf set so you get the uncirculated the 30th anniversary and the incused coin all in that great uh, case that you see right there that one is going to be closer to the end of the hour but if you want to go ahead and pick it up maybe you're already on hsn.com you can it's 614165 okay we haven't seen this coin since October of last year. And it's interesting, it kind of came out towards the end of the year, and, and I still have, and I thought it was a good coin. Okay. I brought it back today for a very specific reason. It's a huge customer pick. We have a limited edition of 3,195 of these, and I still have, I still have a fair number of these coins, mm -hmm. okay? Here's the thing about this coin. Mm -hmm. You now, from October until literally, I don't know, three days ago, it was just, it was just one of the satin finish coins. The United States government has made these special satin finish. Like I say, they don't make them like they used to. Mm -hmm. We started in 2006 doing these special uncirculated coins, the third style. Mm -hmm. Remember, we had the mint state, we had the proof, and yeah. now they do these special uncirculated coins, and there's the West Point mint mark. Okay. Okay, here's your inside scoop. This is going to be by far the rarest satin finish American Silver Eagle ever made by the United States government. I can tell you that right now. How do you know that? Well, we we can do math. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's actually, and I know that's kind of a, a it's kind of a glib answer, but but at the end of the day, we, we kind of know how many have been sold because the you know the mint is a is a, a public a institution, public. so mm -hmm. you know they have to tell us these things. Mm -hmm. It's no secret. We know how many they have sold. We know how many, in essence, are left. They're still selling the uncertified coins, which you know uh, uh, is a thing. Mm -hmm. And we know how many coins have been made in the past. There's no possible way that the mintage on this can exceed prior year coins. No possible way. And not only will this be the rarest satin finish American Silver Eagle, it will be the rarest satin finish American Silver Eagle by far. Now, in the coin world, that's a huge deal. Yes, it is. Now, here's the interesting part is I have got these coins, okay, that I have already done that I have held the first day of issue, you have to understand that's from the first 30 days of, of the mintage of the coin. That was last year. Mm -hmm. So now not only are you going to get, okay, that coin at, this is the price we charge for any of them, but the first day of issue, yeah. you're going to get as an additional bonus with this additional information. Now, mm -hmm. I have this additional information. Now, what would be normal uh, operating practice, not only uh, in the business world, is when you find something is the rarest of the, of the rare, mm -hmm. and the satin finish coins are the rarest of the three kinds of eagles that the United States government makes. Okay. You raise the price. Yeah. We did not. Because I paid the original price, you're going to pay the original price. Okay. So you still get first day of issue, you still get the Red Oak presentation box, you still get the numbered edition exclusively available from us here on HSN. The same customer pick, now with just additional information that adds value to your purchase on a fairly significant mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. And while I still have some of these, because I put these away, I have about a thousand of these 3,100 coins. We don't sold 2,100 of them. Mm -hmm. And I always put some away, you know what I'm saying, and we hold some of the first day of issue for, for later, because that's all I have forever. Right. 
Now, I may sometimes, sometimes we sell it out in a single airing. Uh, this one, uh, we didn't particularly. So now what I do is I have a, uh, I have what is really a tremendous coin. Now, not only do you get the coin, not only do you get it first day of issue, not only do you get the additional information in the four point, what is that, about six st uh, star customer pick, mm -hmm. but you also get it certified perfect. Yes. So it's first day of issue. So it's not only the rarest, it's the rarest, highest graded, first day of issue, American Silver Eagle. And since this is the rarest, mm -hmm. Okay, this is the rarest of all of the United States government issue types of coins. So you have mint state, you have uh, proof, and then you have satin finish. This will technically be for a regular issue United States government coin. This will be the rarest American silver eagle. Okay, so, wow. so, so, so they do proof, they do mint. Now, they do coins that are gonna be uh, uh, special issue coins, like the reverse proof coins that they do in the 25th anniversary. Of course, that's a thousand dollar coin. Okay, well, in this grade, more like twelve or thirteen hundred yeah. for the twenty-fifth anniversary or the twentieth anniversary coin, uh, which they did. Which is actually, this is going to have about the same mintage as that, and that coin's six or seven or eight hundred dollars. Okay, this one, in terms of the regular issue American Silver Eagle, so I'm talking about just regular mint state proof and satin finish. This is going to be the coin, folks, and you're ahead of the curve. We literally, I mean, I talked to, to a couple of guys. I mean, you know, these are guys like me. Their whole life and business and world is coins. And we went through this and they go, okay, this is gonna be a thing. This is gonna be a coin. Wow. And so I said, okay, well, I'm gonna pull this out of the vault a little earlier than what I normally would do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, normally I would hold this towards about October of next year uh, because they haven't released the SP of the 2018 yet. So this is the, the contemporaneous satin finish coin, the West Point minted uh, uh, American coin. Now understand, once word gets out, mm -hmm. then I would in essence have to, it, I, uh, not for first day of issue, because I've already bought first day of issue, they had to be already purchased quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I would have to literally be quite significantly more money. Because I'm yeah. gonna have to go out, if I have to go out in the marketplace and, and pay yeah. you know, 10%, 20%, 50%, 100% premium for mm -hmm. what is all of a sudden, because we mm -hmm. take a coin that's all of a sudden the rarest American Eagle. The rarest American Eagle ever made, Okay, is the 1995 W. In this condition, that's a $30,000 coin. Okay. Oh my goodness. The next rarest, and it's a special, and that was a special issue, 10th anniversary. The next rarest special issue, which is the uh, 2015 P minted okay. American Silver Eagle. I think we sell that coin. We may have one on hsn.com. It's about four grand. Okay, so those are the two rarest special edition eagles. Right. This is the rarest regular issue oh American gosh. eagle. Okay, if you look at regular mint state, regular proof, and regular uh, a satin finish, which they've made since 2006, yeah. okay, then this is the rarest coin of all of those. So you look at 86, 87, 88, you pick any of 1996. Take the 1996 American Silver Eagle. In mint state, that's the rarest mint state, regular mint state coin made by the United States government. In this condition, that's about a, I don't know, a, five or $8,000 coin, something like that, uh, in Min State 70. The key here is not only the rarity, not only the availability, the key is also the price. That's right. Okay, I still have my original issue price, even though this is first day of issue, for only as long as this quantity holds. Folks, it's a huge deal. Yes. Okay? Yes. Particularly with the information, like I said, we finally ciphered it out, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, le uh, le last week, about five days ago, and you're getting information that I would argue no more than a dozen other people prior to this presentation in the United States has been able to figure out or even understand. So oh, wow. that's what you that's what you get by being up at 2:28 a.m. <laughs> Eastern Time today. <laughs> you get right. some inside coin information yeah. that a lot of people wish that they had and will relatively soon. But you have first look at it uh, right. uh, on the first day of issue, and it allows you to make your decision right. on how many of these are you're going to pick up and add to your collection. Remember, it is the rarest, and it is certified 
perfect. The con I mean, everything about this is a must. So we will have to move off of this. Our clock is down, but it's 570-779. You can continue to order these until they're gone, really. Uh, we haven't had this back on air since October, and so you are getting your first chance to get it this year, and um, I don't want you to miss out on that. And again, shopping on hsn.com is your fastest way to get in on that. I wanted to share this with you. It is the Susan B. Anthony dollars, the entire 16 coin mint set and the case that you see that they are all um, set in. That one is coming up, and you'll notice it's a $20 price break on that one as well. So we've got that for you, and uh, stay close because we're going to give you a presentation. I haven't that done one. that in forever. I, know. I have not done that set in forever. It is one of the harder sets to put together in all of coindom. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'll really? explain to you why. When okay. you look at it, it's the three coins out at the end. Yeah. Everybody knows that 79, 80, and 81, they made the Susan B. Anthony. What most people don't know is they made them in 1999 as well, just because of the legislation. Oh, wow. And those three coins out there on the end, the 1999 yeah. Susan B. Anthony dollars? Yeah. Good luck finding that. Oh, wow. But, but you've got them there. All right, so those are coming up. You know what? Let me share with you, because we always talk about um, our HSN card, and if you have it, you get extra benefits. But if you don't have it, you can get it. All you have to do is call us and apply, uh, or you can do it on hsn.com. And when you're approved, you can take $10 off of the very first uh, purchase that you make when you use that. And it also gives you an opportunity to get extra flex um, when flex is available on coins. So that's the HSN card. We gave you a sneak peek of this <laughs> earlier. We've had this on air before, the Secret Silver Kennedys. You're getting 13 of them that Baker's dozen roll. And, and the num number one question is, is why 13? Yeah. Is it, a, what's the special significance? <laughs> it's lucky 13. <laughs> it's actually not, it, it has almost no special significance. <laughs> I wanted to sell as many Kennedys as I could for $99. Okay. And it worked out to be 13. Okay. There you go. So, so I wanted to pack as many coins as I could <laughs> in for less than $100. Uh -huh. Now look at, look at the, the sold. 400. Yeah. 400 of these have sold so at 13 coins, that's not 30, 400 coins. That's 400 of these. 400 times 13. That's 5,000 <laughs> coins, oh okay? Goodness. We've sold 5,000 yes. silver Kennedy half dollars oh that you see right here. Yeah. They are special. They're incredible. Silver, of course, last week took a kind of a nice turn. So here's what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. This is a coin... People are going, so, so you just found out, out about this. I go, no, I've been selling this for 25 years, okay? <laughs> the secret's out. <laughs> yeah, the secret's out. I mean, you know, uh, and, and the secret silver means is people don't realize that they made silver Kennedy half dollars all the way through uh, mm -hmm. the, the 1960s. They had no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and they did. And so that's the secret part of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, and, and so I... I just buy lots of these coins anytime I can get them at the right price, mm -hmm. but more importantly, as I turn this right here, the right condition. Okay. I only buy these coins. There's, there's some of these coins out there, and that's what people usually buy. Mm -hmm. 13 coins for $99, basically $7 and a half a coin. But what they don't get is brilliant uncirculated coins. Mm. See, this is the numismatic component. They're yeah. buying the seven and a half dollar silver part of this, okay. right? Okay. You know, that we that way right. we would charge for coins that weren't uncirculated. Well, we're charging that for uncirculated coins as well. And so if you go, I've got a nationally advertised catalog here that we talk about. People always ask me about this. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, let's put it this way. When I was a 12-year-old paper boy collecting coins, I bought coins out of this catalog. So mm -hmm. they've been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So Pretty if you reputable. look at the Kennedy half dollar, yeah, I remember as a kid, I would just spend hours and hours and hours before I go to bed, you know, <laughs> turn the light out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was your comic mom. book? That, that was my mom. Yeah, that was my comic book. <laughs> right. So if you look at these, they sell these coins in uncirculated condition at between 1950 and 3150 a piece. So let's just go with the low price. Okay. 1950. And I'm going to round it up to $20 so I can do the math okay. and then I'll subtract a little bit. Okay. So $20 times 13 coins is $260. That's in essence the numismatic value. And actually if we take the extra 50 cents times the 13, so it's $253.50. Okay. Okay. That's what you'd pay. 250. That's in essence the numismatic value. Listen to the silver. You're paying for the silver value. You get the numismatic value. 
okay? Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You're paying seven and a half. Yeah. In the catalog, you'd pay 19 and a half. Okay. Okay, we sold over 400 before. That's today. I, that's wow. not like a running thing, you know. I mean, there's a bunch of these. Somebody online that's just been going crazy. Yes. On these, it is just, it is just crazy, isn't it? That is what happens when you get numismatic value at no additional cost or charge. Wow. It is really what I'm it comes down to. That. And, and and I won't send these out. Okay. Right. These Not are, the ones that you're playing. You're the, yeah, yeah. Because because these are uncirculated. And when I do this, they're really not so much uncirculated. Technically, they are uncirculated, but mm -hmm. not something that I do here. I want to show you this right mm -hmm. here. Drop these down. Okay. Uncirculated coins. Luster is the key to uncirculated. That's why I always turn these. See how I turn these coins like yes. that? Yes. Because what I want you to see, like in the catalog, this 1965 right here, mm -hmm. 3150. Wow, just for that one coin. This one coin. You're paying seven and a half dollars. Wow. You're paying seven and a half dollars. That's yeah. thirty one fifty. Yes. And you're getting remember all thirteen of them. And right. you that's know, the key for ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. You get all thirteen of them. And we've had an opportunity to, to sell these and offer these before and I was telling um, Mike that you know, when you hear the sound of that silver coin, it might be nostalgic for you. It might remind you of you hearing your dad with, you know, jingling the change in his pocket or your granddad because it was the sound that money used to make. Um, it doesn't sound like that now because it's not made of silver now. Maybe for you, it's about the years. It's 1965 to 1969. Maybe those were special years for you, whether they were your birth years or what have you. You've, you're getting all 13 of them in the role and there is no limit until they're gone. Right. So you can order as many as and, you want. And here's the thing. I had about 1,400 to start. Mm -hmm. We've sold 422. Mm -hmm. So that leaves me with right about 1,000. Yeah. I know these are in the primetime show. Oh, yeah. Okay, these are in the primetime show. Mm -hmm. These are quite a 2 p.m. So we have a 2 p.m. show today. Uh, right. Very rare. So right. I have an afternoon show, uh -huh. and then I have an evening show. So we're oh, 2 p.m. and I think 8 p.m., if I'm not mistaken, okay. uh, yeah. uh, tonight. Yeah. So a kind of uh, all-day coin stuff. Yeah. But this, I think, is scheduled for all of those airings. So I would assume all 1,000 rolls. Now, yeah. once we've done, at this point, over 5,000 coins sold today. Over 5,000 mm -hmm. coins sold. These are going very quickly yes, as well. You could, uh, as well you could suspect. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's absolutely spectacular. Remember, 13 coins. And once again, the significance, <laughs> that's the most I could give you for $99. <laughs> and and it's so like, well, look, why don't we do 12? And I said, I think I can get the extra coin in there. And they go, really, 13? And I go, yeah. let's, I, I mean, you know, uh, let's give them as many coins as we can. Yeah. I, I have the silver price, $7.5 a coin. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you the numismatic value. So remember, that ranged in the in the catalog from $19.50 to $31.50 a coin. Oh You're getting gosh. them all for $7.5. They are all original, brilliant, uncirculated coins. It is absolutely positively spectacular. You can't beat it. And uh, we do. We are going to take a quick break to give all of you on the phone a chance to go ahead and order. These are 609-905. We're going to check in and find out a little bit more about FlexPay if you're new to HSN. And then we're going to come back for more Coin Collector. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Exclusively at HSN. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. So you're watching HSN. I'm Tamara Hooks. This is Mike Mizak, and we're glad that you're shopping as well. I'm browsing. Um, for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mike's browsing, and we're talking about something that we don't talk about very often um, on during our shows is the Susan B. Anthony collection. This is the entire 16 coin mint set. Every single, single thing that you see right here, including the case, you are getting. And also check out that price break. We took $20 off of the price on this one, and you also have flex pay. So that means using any major credit card, you can get this entire set home for $37.49. And there's a lot of specialty in here. It's, this is phenomenal. So the Susan B. Anthony dollar, is a very cool coin to start with, mm -hmm. okay? A lot of things with this. Very first woman ever specifically honored on an American coin. Uh, first came out in 1979. By 1981, they figured out, okay, a dollar coin that's almost the same exact size as a quarter maybe wasn't our best idea, okay? So they stop it. Now, uh, so it's a three-year issue, 79, 80, and 81. Uh, it is also, they were trying to get people to use this because they really want us to use a dollar coin instead of a dollar bill. So if you'll notice, there's four coins. We usually have Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, and then Proof San Francisco Mint. In the Susan B. Anthony dollar, they actually made, these are the last United States regular issue coins where they were made in uncirculated at San Francisco as well. So you have P, D, S, and S Proof. So there's two S minted coins, two in 79, 80, and 81. Then, after they've decided this was, in essence, a debacle, <laughs> they stop making them. But as they get ready to make the Sacagawea Golden Dollar in the year 2000 to again honor a woman on an American coin, they have to finish the authorizing legislation of the Susan B. Anthony, and they have to make the Susan B. Anthony in 1999. Now, none of them were ever released into circulation. People don't even realize about these coins. And they did not make an S mint on circulated. So they have a Philadelphia mint, a Denver mint, and the S mint. Now, in night, and then what happens is, say, say an extra hole in here. I took and colorized a Susan B. Anthony coin. So there's, I hate, you know, uh, yeah. we, we would have filled all 16 holes. <laughs> Okay. I love and your precise nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't leave things unattended. <laughs> <laughs> and so you look at these. In the 1999 proof set, there's no Susan B. Anthony. This only come as, it came as a single coin. Good luck finding this coin. Wow. These coins, you want the mint set? Yeah. 1999 mint set? These coins were not in the mint set either. So, when we look at this coin set, I have not only a price break on this, mm -hmm. which is kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I got about 300 of these sets. I'm going to sell all these today. Mm -hmm. And what took me, basically, I don't think I've had this on we, in two years. We haven't had this on since August of 2016. There, uh, two years. Unbelievable. I figure about two years because of this coin right here. I have a nationally advertised catalog. And I'm going to run through if you would buy these coins individually. Okay. 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 So right here. $9.95, $9.95, $11.95, and $15.95. So that's about f almost 50 bucks. Yes. Okay? Then we go to $19.80. $11.95, $9.95, $9.95, and $15.95. So that's once again about 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we go $15.95, $15.95, $15.95, $15 and $17.95. Okay? Okay. But then we get here to the 1999s. How about $27.50? Uh -huh. 2850 and 4550. Wow. Okay? And 4550 for the Nash. So you're about 150, 250, 275 dollars or so if purchased separately. We're at 149 dollars and 95 cents. Wow. Now, not only am I at 149 dollars and 95 cents, but you're going to get the custom presentation box. Mm -hmm. Every single one of these are in their own individual airtight holder. Okay, that's 59 cents times 16. So that's another, so the box is another 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, uh, none of those come in boxes or airtights or any of that other stuff. So you get it in this box, in this collection, just like this. It is truly spectacular, and that's why I've not had it for two years. This has always been one of the single most popular items that we have ever sold here. But this coin is, uh, it's almost impossible to find. Wow. It is almost impossible to find. It did not come in the proof set from 1999. It only came in this little tiny 
a plastic box. It's the weirdest thing. It's unlike any other box that the government made. It's a, right. it's really kind of a not a good box. Right. But the coin yeah. was in it, and it sold mostly at the mint stores. So you had to go to like the Philadelphia Mint, the Denver Mint. You could okay. buy it on the, uh, you could buy it on the uh, the mint website, but nobody was really doing that in 1999. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the number. I have 292, 291. I got a lot of people on the phone. This right. is going to sell. Right. I'm going, I have this, I think, in the 2 p.m. show, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Whatever I have left here, I have about a 99% certainty. Mm -hmm. I will sell. Mm -hmm. I will sell in the 2 p.m. show. That's I right. really, truly believe that That's uh, right. uh, is what's going to happen. So this is going to be an opportunity. Now, this is the entire set. Okay. So that's the other thing. Every single solitary coin in the set is included in this. And remember, the last S-minted coins, mm -hmm. uncirculated coins made by the United States government, right there, you're looking at them. Those are the coins that are going to be 79, uh, uh, 80, and 81. That's it. They stopped doing that. For yeah. some of the coins, like in the half dollar, they stopped in 1954. Wow. Okay, by this, they did all these in 1981. The very first woman to ever be honored on a United States coin. This yes. is it right here. Yeah. Every coin, gem brilliant, uncirculated, or gem proof. I'm going to give you, as you can see right here, look at this, the colorized coin. I know the colorized coin out there, people sell that for 10, 12, 14, 16 dollars. Yeah. So that gets us, uh, uh, with with the uh, uh, with the packaging and everything, we're probably pretty close to $300 on a coin by coin basis. Easily, here. easily. But it's even more more than the coin by coin basis. It's the fact that it's all available in one place. In other mm -hmm. words, one call gets you the entire set. The entire so if you look at other sets from this, so the Kennedy half dollar set from this time frame, you know, that's a 50 year run. Well, that's gonna cost you, with all the proofs and everything, that's a three or $4,000 set. Yeah. Uh, the, the Eisenhower dollars, I mean, we sell, I think they're $499 or $599. The Sackage we have golden dollars are three or four or $500. This is the only affordable complete set of American coins that you can buy for $149.95. That's just that's just the fact of the matter. And then you get in. A lot of people are familiar with these coins. What nobody's familiar with is the 1999 Susan B. Anthony's. We had the secret Kennedys. Those should be the secret Susan B. Anthony's <laughs> that we're going to have right there. That is a huge deal. That is a big deal. Not in the proof set, not in the mint sets. They only, this one came in a little package that is kind of with some, you know, a film that covered it and all. Okay. So once again, good luck finding that. Good luck yeah. finding the 1999. This coin right here, yeah. remember 2750, 2850, and 4550. So what's that? That's over $100. So we're almost it's 140. Count the packaging, count yep. this guy in. Mm -hmm. This row and the box is basically $149.95. You get the rest of the Susan B. Anthony's in Gem Brilliant. And this is $15.95, $15.95, $15.95, $17.95. Yeah. That's $65 or $70 right there. Oh my God. So these two rows, you're looking at well over $200. Then you have the first year of issue. You have the last of the estimates. You've got all of those. It is a truly, truly spectacular opportunity. I've got, with everybody on the phone, I have less than 200 of these, well less than 200 of these, mm -hmm. I can promise you in the 2 p.m. airing, they're going to be gone. That'll be gone. Remember, it's the entire collection, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, the fact is we haven't had this on air in almost two years because it's taken that long to really be able to complete the collection in order to be able to bring it to you again. So this might be your first time seeing it. It might be your last time seeing it unless you get it home. It's 236789. And I do see that there are a lot of you calling in, but this is one worth waiting on and getting. And I don't want you to hang up until you make sure that we've got your reservation for yours. Okay. Okay, now, this is, we haven't given you any sneak peeks on this one um, in this hour. Because it just hour. wouldn't be fair. Because it wouldn't be fair. fair. Just First just time a, back in January. Can you dial? I know. Um, we only have a handful of these. This is extra special, and I want you to take it over, Mike. Okay, I, I have seven coins. Okay. They have seven coins. If you've been following in the news, you may have noticed something that happens. There are precious metals. There's gold and there's silver and there's platinum. Mm -hmm. But there's another one. Gold's about a, what, 100 times rarer than, uh, 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 platinum is about 100 times rarer than gold. Mm -hmm. Palladium is about 100 times rarer than platinum. Wow. Okay. 
So it is exceptionally, extraordinarily rare. If you've been following like I have, in about the last two weeks or so, palladium has gone up about 25% because the vast majority of all the palladium in the world resides in Russia. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. So people Say are Say no more. <laughs> yeah, so people are co concerned that there will be no more palladium coming out of Still. Russia at least mm -hmm. into the United States. Mhm. Mm the United States has a palladium coin coming up at the end of this year. So hopefully they've okay. bought enough palladium for that. Wow. So palladium palladium by the way sells for significantly more than platinum. So last year the United States government decides to, for whatever reason, put out a palladium coin. Now, you understand, palladium is a thousand, is a hundred times rarer than platinum, which is a hundred times rarer than gold. Mm -hmm. So that's ten thousand times rarer than gold. Okay, oh so do, do that math. Ten thousand times rarer than gold. So my response to a twenty to twenty-five percent increase in palladium is taking five hundred dollars off <laughs> for these seven coins because we did that. We kind of planned this far enough in advance, and I own these coins from last year, before palladium went up, I could probably just wholesale them. Mm -hmm. But the United States government decides to make a pure palladium coin. So this isn't like plated. This is an official United States government issue. They decided to do this palladium coin as the 100th anniversary of, in essence, the mercury dime. It's actually 101 years. So they took this coin, they took the mercury dime, one of the most popular coins, and when they released this last year, Mint State 70 was, in essence, a bullion coin that they limited. It sold out absolutely positively instantaneously. As a matter of fact, they only uh, released these through this, what are called the special, the, uh, the, the bullion depository guys. Mm -hmm. So in other words, there are 13 what are called authorized purchasers by the United States Mint who get to sell all of the American Eagles, all the Gold Eagles, and all the Palladium Eagles, okay, and Platinum wow. Eagles. There's only 13, only 13 of them. There's 13 of them. So when I called them, I, and I do millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of business with these guys, I said, how much, uh, you know, I need, I need a thousand palladium coins. They go, well, that's adorable. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you a hundred, okay? Uh, and I go, well, because uh, I'm used to, you know, if I want gold, I can call it, I can get a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand or whatever, uh, whatever I want. And they go, no, these are on allocation. So we had taken everybody that, that is a customer of ours and giving them a specific, very, very, very tiny quantity. Mm -hmm. And so these sold out instantly. We had them at $2,699 uh, $2, last year. As you can see, $2,699 last year. I basically sold them all. Mm -hmm. I had seven of them left. Mm -hmm. And so I had made a thing. Let's bring this out and do it. We're down to six, by the way. Okay. So nothing in precious metals <clears throat> is hotter than, than this is an ounce of pure palladium. Not only did they reprise the mercury dime, mm -hmm. which they had done in 2016 in solid gold, but in dime size. This is silver dollar size with the mercury dime, okay? But they also put a special reverse on this. They made it a $25 coin, the only $25 coin ever done by the United yes. States government in anything other than gold, okay? okay? So it's got this palladium thing going on, okay? Okay. Actually, they did a platinum. They took this eagle, you may recognize that eagle. It looks very much, it looks very much like the eagle that's on the back of the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Because Adolf A. Wyman designed, had two designs for the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Mm -hmm. The one that went on the Half Dollar and this one. So they took this design that sat in their archives for a hundred years and finally made a coin of it. It is the alternate version of the reverse of the Walking Liberty Half Dollar. I think one of the most beautiful, beautiful. eagles that you've, ever, uh, that you've ever seen, and that's on this. So one ounce pure palladium. And, and heavy, I might add. Because, a small ounce, yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's dense. dense. Yeah. So you've got a coin that is a sold out limited edition that when they release this year's coin, which they're not doing in mint state, I think, they're only doing a proof coin. So this is the mint, and the proof coin will be considerably more money. First, platinum's, or palladium has gone up. I keep saying platinum, but palladium is actually significantly rarer than that. So, so we're going to have that. Uh, with the palladium coin, this will be the only mint state palladium coin. This will be the only mint state palladium coin that the United States government has ever made. And so as we do that, understand, Platinum has gone up, uh, palladium has gone up so much because like I said, the primary producer of palladium is of course wow. 
is Russia. Russia. Right. That's right. And so we're worried about We that. have these now. We only have six of those remaining. I know they're not for everyone, but if you want to add that to your collection, please do so. If you joined us late, then you missed seeing this set. This is all original government issue packaging, everything. Cool, You're looking it? here. It's, I, 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 it's one of my favorites, I'll just say that. It's the 1986 to 1992 San Francisco Mint Proof Silver Eagle Dollar Coins. You're getting all seven of them and breaks out to be about $100 per coin the way we have it priced. But if you were gonna try to find those separately, first off, you probably wouldn't find all the government, original government packaging. It would be, you'd be hard pressed to get all of them and you'd be paying significantly more. We do have those available. I wanna make sure you go ahead and pick those up. Um, and that's something we haven't seen in a long time. Now, this is gonna be the last um, thing that we present for you in this hour. We give you one little peek of this one. And so these are Canadian, $5 Canadian silver maple leaf sets. Mm -hmm. You're getting the, um, and you're getting all three coins, all brilliant, uncirculated, but each coin in and of itself is different. $39.95, yeah. It's the 30th anniversary of the Canadian maple leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they decided to do a special coin. And they did three special coins. Mm -hmm. So they made the regular maple leaf coin, and then they made this 30, this 30th anniversary coin, the one that has the 30 on it, is sold out instantly. So that you can't find that coin anywhere. We've got that coin. And then you have also a very special coin, limited edition coin that you have here, which is the Incuse maple leaf. And people ask me, what does Incuse mean? It's stamped into the coin, mm -hmm. so it's not raised. It's much easier to strike a coin when you hit the coin, strike the coin, and the coin goes into the voids of a die. And so on all coins, the device of the coin or the, uh, the design on the coin is raised. Mm -hmm. It's extraordinarily difficult to create an in coin because it, it, when you have it in the collar of the die, as you do that, it expands. It's very, very difficult to do. Well, the Canadian Mint is one of the most technologically proficient mints in the world today, and so they did this, where if you look, the maple leaf is stamped into the coin. You can see, if I do that, you can see the edge yeah. where the maple leaf goes into the coin right there. Wow. Also limited edition, sold out, limited edition, and then this is in essence the regular maple leaf. Mm -hmm. Each one is a full ounce of silver. So you get three, you get a fourth of a pound of silver that you're going to have in that, or a, uh, what is that, a fifth of a pound, is ultimately three ounces. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get three ounces of pure silver. Now one of the cool things I love, if we can go to the 30th anniversary coin, I want to show you the Canadian Mint, there's a lot of counterfeits in the world, even with silver coins, because they bring a premium when the United States Mint and or Canadian Mint or, you know, U.S. Uh, uh, just Mint issues. So they do have anti-counterfeiting anti technology. The first thing they have is this little privy seal down here. Mm -hmm. So they put that in there. The other thing that they do is look at, see how it looks like. Like there's all these little lines in yes. here and as I turn that it kind of like, you know, an old science fiction movie thing. Yeah. That is actually anti-counterfeiting technology. The, the, um, the technology required to put that on a coin is insane. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it is, it's just, I, I mean, you have to literally laser engrave a die that they did not even have the technology to do two years ago. Yeah. And so they've added that. And then if we put that, and then of course, always, you have to put oh, Queen look, Elizabeth on there. And even then, you can see know. those special anti-counterfeiting that looks almost like a fingerprint mm -hmm. on each and every single solitary coin. Now. These are beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? They really are. They are to celebrate the 30, now, the United States government did like a 25th anniversary set like this. We sell that for like two grand. So, so these for $119.95, look at that. And they're gonna come in this great little presentation box. Isn't mm -hmm. that fantastic? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have that. They all come in their own individual holders like coin. Like I say, go out there and try to find this coin. <laughs> Sold out, limited edition. That thing is one of the hottest coins in the marketplace today. The Incuse Maple Leaf, also exceptionally difficult to get. And like I said, we have them all. Just even the regular coin at $39.95 is spectacular. To get this coin, 
$39.95, I don't think so. To get this coin, $39.95, I don't think so. With the increased maple leaf, very, very difficult, very, very desirable. I love the way they kind of hung the 30 on the maple leaf. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? So and so I. that's why that went very, very, very quickly because it has a uh, extreme limited edition on it. And like I said, limited edition on the NQs design as well. So the big maple leaf's NQs as well as there's a little bit of NQs. See the privy mark? Yes. And see the little Canadian maple leaf in the maple inside. leaf right there? Yes. That's also NQs wow. that you see right there. Mm -hmm. 9999 fine uh, pure silver. So you get the pure silver part of this. You get the sold out limited edition. You get the complete. This is all all of the basically the 30th anniversary silver Amer uh, silver Canadian maple leaves that you're going to have in there. And then I love the little custom presentation box. I what a too. great little presentation box that you have to hold that trio in right there. And like I said, as you can see, absolutely stunning gem brilliant uncirculated. Absolutely stunning gem brilliant uncirculated. Beautiful. And now this... Uh, <coughs> is the first presentation of this for the day, but it will definitely be featured later on today. And with the popularity, yeah, with the popularity that this has already seen in just this last minute and a half or so that you've seen it this morning, um, it has been popular. We do expect this one to go. And I want to make sure that if this is one that you've got your eye on, because it is special in so many different ways, you will go ahead and pick it up. Here's the item number, because our show is quickly coming to a close. It is item number 614165. You can continue to call. Our customer service reps are uh, preparing and waiting for your calls as well. Um, you can shop on hsn.com. And when you do, you can see all of the coins that we have available, um, many that we don't have a chance to uh, air on um, as often as we would like to. So definitely check that out online. Mike, you will be back at 2 p.m., which we don't typically see you at yep. 2. Give everybody then, a good look at this. For sure. And then again at 8 p.m. And anything that was very limited will definitely be gone by 8. But you have it first dibs to get it now. You can continue to shop. We've got so much more here at HSN. And uh, we'll see you back at 2 o'clock.